Hello, welcome to Dungeon Drawers Podcast. I'm your host Justin. Today we're gonna react to the Wildcats cartoon episode one. Uh, Wildcats being the cartoon adaption of Jim Lee's and Brandon Choi's uh, image comic book series, uh, superhero series, <laughs> which I'm gonna review next for um, Image Month. So we're just gonna check out the cartoon. I never watched the whole thing, and I never actually like watched it like on TV because it was the only channels that would like show it was the Spanish channel, which it would be like was it Spanish or Italian? I can't remember, but it, like yeah, it would it would be dubbed in like Spanish or Italian. And obviously, as a kid, like, you would try to watch it, but then you'd be like, ah, oh, this sucks. I can't understand what anybody's saying. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't watch it till like, you know, I had the internet and it was on YouTube, which is currently on YouTube. It's on some guy's channel called Retro Rerun. Uh, we're going to react to it uh, right now. This is... Uh, they changed... What's her name's... Um... um well, they changed a couple of their costumes. Like, Voodoo, they changed Voodoo's costume. They, they kept, I can't remember her name, the, the chick with the white hair and, uh, with the swords. But they gave her, like, a ponytail. Actually, I, I like this design better. But the only thing different is, like, her hair. Because the hair, her hair in the comic book is, like, super short. Sorry, I don't remember these, a lot of these characters names. <laughs> Cause I just uh, I haven't read the comic book yet. <laughs> I mean I have I had read Wildcats, but it's been years, so I don't remember all their characters' names. I remember Marv. I remember uh, Grifter. You know what sucks with uh, Jim Lee going uh, leaving Image for um, DC Comics is the only like Wildcats character I've seen. In DC Comics is like it. Sorry, I'm just watching the cartoon. I also got cereal. It's like I can't remember if this was cinnamon toast uh, crunch or French toast crunch. One or two. <laughs> Back to <on> what? <laughs> so, like the for people who don't know the the story for Wildcats is basically um, this. There was this character who was like a uh, midget, like homeless guy, who some uh, alien chick comes up to him, uh, makes him a millionaire, and like. Uses his funds to create a team of superheroes to fight an alien invasion. Sorry, I haven't had breakfast yet. So, like, um... When DC, uh, did New 52, they, they, they rebooted... The Wildcats, but like they only had like Grifter on the team, and if you read that comic book, like in the Wild, sorry, in the um, Grifter graphic novel, it was the same story of Wildcats, but only Grifter versus like Dark Spawn and his army, or whatever the fuck is the villain's name was. I can't remember. What was Marv's uh, superpower again? Like, the bigger he got, the dumber he got? They changed uh, Voodoo's costume. 
Daemonites. Okay, that's what the bad guys are called. Sorry, it's playing an ad. God damn it. Uh, I was hoping I wouldn't get ads, but you know, you hope it. And that that's what sucks about watching TV on YouTube versus on real life. Real life, they would only have a commercial break, like, what, halfway through the show? But, like, on YouTube, like, these people will have, like, ads every couple minutes. Oh, her name's Zealot. Okay. The animation is pretty cool. It, it, it reminds me of uh, X Men, the 90s cartoon. Not as good, though. But, you know, it's still pretty cool. There's Spartan, which I heard like he died in the comic series, which sucks because he's like the coolest one, aside from Grifter, obviously. I think in the comic book he got that size and he like once and he was like he was like mentally retarded like he like he didn't he couldn't speak his own name. Yeah, that's uh, Mars' weakness. So what's different besides from the cartoon versus the the comic book? In the comic book, that character was already a member of the team, and the they're tr in the first issue they're trying to recruit Voodoo, who is the psychic girl member of the team, who who was a stripper. Her she was her stripper outfit that she was wearing of it. it it is the same as her like costume <laughs> her superhero costume which is what i love about 90s like comic books especially image where like a lot of the girls like outfits are basically like stripper outfits <laughs> uh another ad there we go Very, he's a very like you know. He's a very buff uh, dwarf. Wow, they basically, they stole, like, uh, Transformers' premise.
Should have read the comic book first, uh, or read, re-read, read it is what I mean before watching this, but you know, didn't have time. Oh shit! I found a hair in my cereal. That's gross. Base. I thought this character was supposed to be Asian in the comic book. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Warblade's uh costume. He lacks our care of them fighting instinct. You and I have been in this war for thousands of years, so it's too much for someone like him to comprehend. Yeah. When you guys came up here Bruno and me, we ran from the busy person on the go. Another ad. Oh my god. We had like what four ads? So when you guys came after Bruno and me, we ran for cover too. Still, I'm not sure it was a good idea to let him walk out on us. Maybe he'll come back for his Hey, what's this? Something he was carrying. But what? If I didn't know that right say was trying to get it you, Lloyd. Let's get this thing to the tech lab on the double. I wanna know what it is. The villain kind of has a cool design. Yeah. Okay. That's the suck. That sucks about like cartoons. When you have a character that uses bladed weapons, the and like he has like human opponents, like he, he can't really do much. That's why they have them fight robots all the time in like X Men and like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he got t taken over by uh, alien presence. So that's cool. Is it Hellspawn? Huh.
Briscauer next for that two time in Coward? No way. Richter, you know I can tell who's right and who's not, and Reno's okay. He has no taste for a fight. He'll never join us. Even if he won't, you can't just let Hellspunk get his claws on him. Boyd, port us up there, now. There was um, Justice League uh, and uh, Wildcats crossover, but like what sucks about that, it was during the 90s obviously, when like, during when uh, they had Superman, um, Superman and like some random issue got, um, in the 90s was like split in half, so there was like a red Superman and a black, sorry, not a black Superman. A blue Superman, both without costumes. Sorry, not, not without costumes, obviously. Without like capes, they changed his costume around. I don't know. It looked it looked dumb. Cause you know, cause in the nineties, uh, superheroes with capes um, was like out of fashion. No, sorry, was was in fashion. Like people didn't want. They're superheroes with capes, right? But like, how can you have like a villain named Hellspawn? Isn't that too, too um, close to Spawn? Because it's the same company, right? Like. Are, when people get confused in the Image comic books uh, universe, when like, like they mention like Hell Spawn and like you know Spawn, like I don't know, whatever. Then again, mo most like I don't know, like I don't think the Image comic books uh, universe was that interconnected. Like they tried, I heard they had they tried to have like a new crossover. Uh, I don't know if it ever came out called like Image United, but they kept getting delayed and delayed because they, because Todd McFarlane's too busy run, running his like toy company and stuff. What's going on up there? I have lost contact with them. I fear they are in great danger. Right, so I, I don't know if it ever got, if it ever got made. Which like, what, like, I don't know if I would be like interested in that because like, Let's be real, like, would you want to check out an image, like, crossover without the Wildcats? They're, like, they're... I don't know, man, like, because, like, to me, like, Wildcats, like, were the coolest, like, team. Then again, I'd never read Youngblood. Which was Rob Liefeld's like uh, superhero team, which I had. It's funny because I had like an action figure that I traded from a kid. Of um, I can't remember the character's name. Ah, oh, shit. Who's the archer from like Youngblood, the red guy? Whatever. I had a toy of him that I traded from a kid, and he was like missing a hand on one of his arms, and like. Uh, his bow was broken half, which I even know it was a bow for the longest time. I thought it was like a dagger or something. <laughs> it wasn't until I started re I, reading the comic books where I figured out, oh, like, this character is from Image. And, like, that, what I thought was, like, a dagger in his, like, hand was actually half a bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you want to check out other image cartoons, there was Savage Dragon, which I couldn't find online. There's the Spawn HBO Spawn series, which has like nudity, swearing, all that. Um. 
besides from this one, there's the Max, which was MTV's like um, cartoon uh, image cartoon they had, which is about like a homeless superhero who's like from this like fantasy world, but but it's like living in our world, and his like um, trying he's trying to protect his like jungle princess Julie who's like a social worker in our world and there's like this evil rapist like shaman character <laughs> who's like the villain uh it, I don't know it's a pretty cool the cartoon's pretty cool so is the comic book series which they I saw I was checking um on Amazon for like image graphic novels they have like the max on there if you want to pick it up for like 20 bucks and like it comes with the first six issues which i thought about getting but it was like eh. is his name maul i thought his name was marv oh i must be mixing him up with um the guy from Sin City. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> if I could be uh, honest for a second, I think... Oh, by the way, this show only had 13 episodes. I would say, like, all the non-DC and Marvel cartoons that came out uh, during the 90s that, you know, only had one season... I think the best one was, um, was all the, uh, Ultra Force cartoon, which apparently I looked up, there wasn't even a real Ultra Force. What it was, the cartoon was basically, like, them, like, sh like, Malibu Comics, like, sh um, creating, like, a fake team of their most popular characters. And then, like, each, um, each episode, they would show off, you know, uh, they would have a story about one of their characters and, their, and um, their villains and stuff. Which kind of sucked, because the first three episodes was, like, these team of superheroes fighting this, like, evil subterranean race called the Fire People. And it was, like, it was really cool, but then after that, it turns into, like, you know, random villain of the week, but, you know... I don't know. It was just it. It was still a good. It was still a good series. I kind of wish they 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 had more seasons, but you know what can you do? DC Comics should fucking like if they're not going to like make a new Wildcats like comic book series. Which I wouldn't even want them to do that, to be honest, because they would just, like, you know, pause it up. They should, like, they should, like, uh, re, like, you know, republish it in trades, which I'm assuming they might have, they probably have done that, but I haven't seen, I've never seen, I've never seen them in comic book stores. Which doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but, you know. Oh, and, uh, Malibu com uh, Comics, um, obviously went, went bankrupt and if you want to and marvel bought all their stuff but refuses to republish it <laughs> which you know dc once in a while will put out icon stuff which uh not icon that was one that was it i uh what was the name milestone right yeah milestone was like this black you know comic book company Which, like, it was basically, you had, like, minority, com uh, you know, black comic book writers creating minority superheroes. 
including gay and lesbian characters. You know, I, I don't know. It, I hear it sucks. And, like, you look at their comic books. Like, they, they re they're they kind of cr really crappy designs. The only one that took off was, like, Static Shock. But, you know, like, Dwayne, Dwayne McDuffie, like, you know, who was one of the writers, he went on to work as a writer for, like, DC DC Entertainment's like animated division, which you know he wrote some pretty cool like movies, which a lot of them were just adaptions, but of like stuff that already exists. <laughs> yeah, of like you know DC graphic novels and stuff. But you know he still did a good job, like R.A.P. Dwayne McDuffie, and I think he created Static Shock, which you know the Static Shock cartoon. I I I liked it, you know, you know his crossovers with Bat. With um, Terry McGinnis, Batman for Batman Beyond was cool, you know. You know, if you haven't seen Static Shock, I, I it's uh, it's worth checking out. All right, that's all I gotta say for this uh, reaction. Um, I'll either the Wildcats Image Month comic review will either come out uh, either today or tomorrow. I don't know. I kind of want to focus on the podcast I'm going to do, which is going to which is going to be another Otaku Underground radio podcast where I'm going to be building a gunpla and talking about my favorite 10 Maka series and five worst Maka mecha, sorry, Mecha series that I watch to completion, right? So like uh, if you're a Mecha fan, make sure to check that out. All right, peace.